welcome back to our channel. I'm Lindsay and this is my husband. Angelo. And we are going to be doing a video on a cheaper, more budget friendly bow versus a more advanced bow. Also, I have zero knowledge about any of this that I just started about a week ago. So you're going to get a beginner's perspective and then he talk about like your history with bows. Yeah, so we grew up shooting IBO bow leagues. Um, my whole family did it. When we were growing up, we did it for several years. We had a ton of fun at it. Uh, we went everywhere in Michigan. Um, my family and I were invited to the to the World Championships a couple times out in West Virginia, and uh, so we we were pretty into it. We never went to West Virginia um, and competed at that level, but it was always fun. Um, we would have leagues on certain nights, so I I was sort of immersed in this years ago, and then I stopped. Um, our career kind of kind of took us in different directions where we didn't have a lot of free time. That's changed now, and uh, so I went out and bought a new bow. I didn't even have a bow anymore, and uh, I just knew it was something that I'd really like to get into. So I I chose to go with the Matthews, uh, the the new one this year, uh, which is the V3. Um, and uh, then I got Lindsay uh, a Mission Hammer bow, and that's made by Matthews. It's a little bit more budget friendly. Um, more geared towards beginners a little bit, but also her bow is very versatile. Um, it's our, more compact than yours. Yeah, our, our local bow or our local bow shop uh, said that full grown men come in and buy this bow all the time. It's just a, just a more budget friendly. So you're looking at a $500 setup that already came built. It's a three pin sight. It's a uh, stabilizer on there. Whisker biscuit, rest. Uh, it's set up with everything like the peep sight. It has it has a quiver and six arrows that comes with it, um, 500 bucks. This one, after everything, after it was built and everything like that, it's it's almost 2,000. Uh, I will have this bow for years and years and years. Um, I, I just know that from the past. Yeah, uh, I don't have any history in this stuff. Yeah, so, so we didn't really know if she yeah. was gonna like it. Um, and I didn't really wanna spend a ton of money if she wasn't into it. This, this was kind of an entry level where see if she even liked it in the first place and if she didn't then I, we weren't out a ton of money. If you keep watching this video I'll give some detailed shots of what the bow looks like up close and then some of his and yeah I have no history with any of this I've only been shooting for a week so I'm gonna be filming, filming myself embarrassing myself because I am very new to the positioning of my body and like the drawback and everything he's definitely more advanced so he's gonna be teaching me along the way We'll show you a week's worth of us shooting and yeah, just some shooting shots and some detailed shots of our bows. And the main thing is, is you know, it doesn't matter if you have a $500 bow, $2,000 bow, it can get a lot higher than that too. Um, I think the thing is, is this is bringing us closer together too. We shoot every single night. Yeah, now. it's pretty windy right now, so it's not a great time to shoot. But. Yeah, but we're, you know, we're shooting every night. We're shooting until dark almost. Um, and it's not it, it's just it's just us it's, and it's so relaxing and the, when yeah. it's right when the kids go to bed it's like just in us to like go downstairs so this is an awesome date idea if you have a wife that yeah. has no history in this i have no history of hunting like i grew up in the country but like i am as beginner as it gets and i am loving this yeah, so, and, yeah. and guys can get that bow too so yeah. guys if you don't shoot and it's something that you've wanted to do you don't have to even hunt what? so this can be a full-grown athletic guys bow and or it can go down to even even a youth can can shoot this so um it's it's great to grow into so guys if you're not into hunting and into that sport and you want to just shoot or just make free time two two of those bows you have a thousand bucks into it and that's a ton of fun so let's get on to shooting <laughs> try something and we're gonna put the camera on top of this and just pray to God that nothing bad happens from this to go into detail of how bad I was I could not close my left eye for the longest I mean for about what a week yeah a week's worth of not being able to close my left eye I had to put a headband over my eye because it was messing me up and the guy that was 
um, teaching me at our local bow place, um, he was saying that I'm very left eye dominant and borderline um, left handed. And so he said, just do it with your right. If you haven't done anything left handed before in your life, just stick to right handed and try to figure it out. So a week later, I can now close my left eye. So things I have to work on is I anticipate my shot. I like put my hip out, my drawbacks pretty bad. And what else do I really struggle with? I really grip onto this really hard. I think so that's this good. will not be perfect. This is somewhat embarrassing. Good shot. Yeah, I think so. And just at 30 yards right now. It's really windy to be shooting right now, but we're making it work. Nice. And shit his first round and killed it. So funny story is because I anticipate my shot so bad, I'm like really punching it. And so Ange, my husband, was like, let's loosen your release. And it was loosened a little bit too much. So I went to go like this as hard as I could and I brought it out to like right here and it released on its own without me pulling the trigger and I punched my face so hard I could not feel my mouth. I thought my teeth were gone. So now I'm a little skeptical when drawing back She's tougher now though. Yeah, that's true. I feel like I shot better after. There's four deer. I think it's two two deer and two fawns. Four fawns? Wow. The babies are out playing. <laughs> So we just got done shooting and our overall experience with the bows. Yeah, they're good. Um, I'm kind of getting the feeling back. Lindsay's learning some good, some good uh, basic rules of how to shoot and I'm not perfect at all. Like stuff's slowly coming back to me, but uh, she's just getting some basic stuff down and it's, it's a lot of fun though. It is fun. So you have two different perspectives. Um, we, bo we both have no complaints for either one of the bows. Or if you wanna just see, this is a good price point for, for a trial run with still getting a really good quality bow. So hers is a Mission Hammer, it's spelled H-A-M-M-R. You know, it's not if she never even shot before and she was trying to see if she even liked it. So we thought that that's, that was a good price point. 500 bucks out the door is pretty good for a really good solid bow that even if she didn't like it 
we can save it for our kids or 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 we can resell it it's a good brand it's it's made by matthews which matthews is a a top bow brand it's it's a contender every and year this is not a sponsored we wish it was a sponsored yeah. video by matthews no, but we're it's just not because that's that's what we shoot now yeah we've, we've or i've shot everything and i've always i've never had a matthews before so no, I wish we'd get free bows. That'd be awesome. Maybe yeah, one day. <laughs> right. But yeah, it's a lot of fun. And the most important thing is it brings us together. I've never, since I've known Lindsay, it's been so work focused. And now I'm home at night and we shoot together. And it's a lot of fun. We uh, we have a lot of good laughs. And, um, you know, it gives us a chance to just get closer and spend some time together instead of you know, coming home and being on your phones and continuing on the day till you go to bed. As soon as it's hunting season, which is yeah. opening season September 19th for... For early doe yeah. season in Michigan. Um, so I'll be vlogging if I go out and, or his first time. If we go together, we'll make it a date and we'll vlog it all. And I'm sure it'll be hilarious because I have no idea what to expect. And I think it'll be pretty, pretty cool and exciting, but also kind of funny. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully this was helpful. I have no idea what I'm doing. My husband did a little bit. We tried two different bows, two different, completely different price ranges. Um, and yeah, if you found this helpful in any way or you just enjoyed this video, please feel free to watch more of our videos because I'm sure that we'll be posting more videos like this and during bow hunting season and everything. So yes, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Thanks guys, we'll see you again next weekend.